At Matter Hackers, we want to equip you with the knowledge and confidence to succeed with each and every 3D print. To start, let's discuss the initial layer that is printed for any part. We refer to this as, not surprisingly, the first layer. Let's dive into the details. Check out the video index on the left if you want to jump ahead to the part most applicable to you. And just because your printer doesn't already have a leveling sensor doesn't mean you can't update it down the line and use one of the later methods. The first layer is the foundation upon which all subsequent layers are built on, which makes it important. It is critical to remember that the bed surface and material compatibility does play a role in the outcome of your first layer. Ensuring that your first layer is set properly will set you on the right path for a successful 3D print. Dialing your first layer is a trivial task and worth the brief moment it takes to get right. Calibration just requires knowing what to look for in a first layer that is too close, too far, and just right. We've compiled some examples of a small square with one layer at different Z offsets so that you know what to look for when you're trying to get the perfect settings for your first layer. The perfect Z offset will have a top that looks like the top surface of a finished 3D print and a clean, uniform pattern on the bottom side. If you were to print a cube with this setting, you wouldn't see any flare out or a tapering in at the base. You can see the 0.1 mm to closed print has ripples along the top where each pass of solid infill slightly pushes up the previous pass of solid infill. On the bottom, it is clean and smooth, but has a cell-like pattern to it. The 0.05 mm to close print is almost perfect. This sort of first layer is acceptable and isn't likely to lead to complications other than creating a tight fit if it needs to fit in a different part. 0.05 mm too far, and you start to be able to see between the infill and the solid infill is only slightly squished into each other. At 0.1 millimeters too far, you will begin to experience lifting, maybe at the corners or at thin features. At this point, the infill lines are easily seen without fully adhering to each other and are able to be split apart from the perimeters. Any further in either direction, and you seriously run the risk of the entire print peeling off the bed in the middle of your print, especially if it only has a very small footprint holding it to the bed in comparison to its height. Your printer either has manual or automatic bed leveling hardware capabilities, and they may even have some helpful wizards to make setting the first layer a bit easier, or they may lack those features and may require a more attentive touch. The BL Touch is one of the most commonly chosen bed leveling sensors for upgrades as it works on nearly every bed surface and is easy to install and test. Just like computers and other electronic devices, 3D printers often have built-in guides called wizards to help someone with any level of 3D printing knowledge, even those that are brand new to 3D printing. These wizards will usually take the form of a guided walkthrough of the different steps you'll need to take to make a change, like prompting you to adjust some thumb screw for the heated bed or moving some sensor out of the way. Not every 3D printer has one, but in general, you will find these on printers that have a large screen that can feature a verbose and coherent explanation of what you need to do. Automatic bed leveling sensors calibrate the first layer consistently using some sort of electronic sensor in place of the user's sense of touch and calibrating by eye. They come in many different forms, with some better detecting materials than others, like inductive probes being able to consistently detect metallic objects from nearly the same distance every time, but they are not able to detect anything non-metallic whatsoever. Or there are capacitance sensors that require touching the bed surface to detect the bed, but have a tough time registering the bed surface if there is any debris in the nozzle. Because of the variety in how these different sensors work, upgrading a 3D printer you already have to have a different sensor is going to have many different installation techniques just because of their different form factors. Without any additional features to make setting your first layer easier, you're going to have to recalibrate your already level bed. Having a bed that's level, but one millimeter too far from the nozzle may as well be a hundred millimeters away from the nozzle. So make sure that you already know how to properly level your bed. If you don't, you can go ahead and check out our video about it by clicking here. While most 3D printers that have bed leveling sensors will also have some code or wizards to help them out, not every 3D printer is so lucky and you may have one that has just the sensor and no wizards, which means a more hands-on approach to get the Z offset set just right for your first layer. Most users won't encounter this, but if this is something you're having trouble with, you can learn more about it in the description down below. Some printers will have wizards and sensors that will help you level your bed, but will require a manual touch to get it adjusted. 
The CraftBot Plus Pro features a guided leveling procedure, moving the printhead over the bed leveling screws as you manually turn the thumb screws to adjust the bed. Some printers can get complex with their wizards and take even more of the guesswork out of first layer calibrations. This is one of the most hands-off processes you can have for your first layer. The sensor will detect the relative mesh of the bed using the probe, then apply the currently saved Z-offset before starting your print. Then, through the LCD, you can adjust the Z-offset using a feature called baby stepping to move the nozzle closer or further away from the bed in the middle of printing instead of having to cancel and adjust the Z-offset. By live baby stepping, you are able to create a clean first layer every time. It's really that easy. After a few runs, it'll be easy to identify how to adjust the first layers of your 3D print, and in no time at all, you'll become an expert at troubleshooting and calibrating your 3D printer. If this guide proved helpful to your understanding of your 3D printer and how to troubleshoot it, you may want to check out our other videos in the 3D Printing Essential tutorial list to better expand your 3D printing skill set. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching 3D Printing Essentials First Layer. I hope you learned something new about the importance of the first layer and some of the options that are used to help make it a little bit easier to get right. If you want to read some in-depth articles, you can go to matterhackers.com or to stay up to date with all of our digital manufacturing content, be sure to click subscribe. See you in the next one.